Apple's upcoming iOS 18 software has leaked, and based on all my research for this video, it's gonna be by far the best software update in the history of the iPhone. With Apple finally revealing the groundbreaking AI features that they've been working on for years. So in this video, I'm gonna share and explain the top 10 AI features that we should expect, but first, I wanna to prove to you that this will for sure be the year of AI for Apple. During Apple's earnings call earlier this month, Tim Cook told investors that Apple's investing a tremendous amount of time and effort in AI, with details coming later this year. And apparently, within the company, Apple executives currently see the new AI-infused iOS 18 as ambitious and compelling. Major shareholders are actually planning to force Apple to reveal their use of AI to prove that they are actually, in fact, competing with other tech companies in terms of AI, so there's a ton of pressure on Apple to reveal AI features this year. And according to DigiTimes, these new AI features will be so good that they're likely going to revive Apple Apple's disappointing iPhone sales in China. And if you need more proof than that, we got a huge leak from Economic Daily News claiming that Apple's next generation A18 chip for the iPhone 16 lineup will feature a significantly upgraded neural engine for iOS 18's generative AI features. Which explains the leak that we had that said that some of the new AI features would be exclusive to the new iPhone 16 models, which makes total sense since they want you to upgrade to the new ones. We even got a leak that said that the microphones on the iPhone 16 lineup will get a huge upgrade just to make sure that the new voice-based AI features were great, which is a huge hint. But don't worry, every iPhone made since 2018, including the iPhone 10R, will support iOS 18 and the bulk of the new AI features. So with that said, let's jump into the first major AI feature, which has to do with Siri. According to the leaker Tech Reeve on Twitter, Apple is currently using LLMs or large language models to completely revamp Siri into the ultimate virtual assistant and is preparing to develop it into Apple's most powerful AI app. As you probably already know, Siri has been the laughing stock of the industry in terms of voice assistants, with pretty much every other version from different brands being much more useful than Siri. And many people will use the terrible Siri experience as an excuse not to switch to an iPhone, and honestly, we can't blame them. But this year, Siri will be getting rebuilt from the ground up using AI, including generative AI features, with Apple working on getting them working on device with the power of your iPhone alone, which is gonna be groundbreaking. So it looks like Siri and Spotlight Search will be rebuilt and finally able to give you real answers to complex questions instead of just sending you to Google search like it does all the time. And yes, it's rumored to come this June at WWDC. Now getting into AI feature number two, Apple has apparently been working on their own Apple GPT tool with the code name Ajax. Last year, it was reported that Apple was spending millions of dollars a day training their AI system, and Apple was apparently purchasing archived articles from news publishers to help train their AI. Apparently, Apple's been using this new GPT chatbot feature internally, creating new technology like automatically generating full fully animatable human 3D avatars within 30 minutes from only around 50 to 100 frames of standard 2D video. This could be used to enable things like virtual clothes fitting using your iPhone, especially since they purchased XNOR AI back in 2020 and used that company to create a new technology that enables LLMs to run up to 25 times faster on devices with limited RAM like iPhones. And according to the information, Apple's Ajax GPT has been trained on more than 200 billion parameters, being more powerful than OpenAI's GPT 3.5 from last year. So as far as the new AI feature we can expect, it's basically gonna be like ChatGPT, meant to answer questions and generate text and other media straight 
on your device, like your iPhone, potentially using just Siri voice prompts. Now moving on to AI feature number three, we are likely getting much better AI-based search features within the Photos app and across your entire phone. Back in 2020, Apple purchased a video AI startup named Vilinx, which uses AI tools to analyze videos with the goal of understanding what's in them and then categorizing that information. In October of last year, Apple released Ferret, an open source multi-model LLM that uses AI for image analysis and search. For example, it's able to analyze this image and recognize that it's a dog and a ferret sitting together in the snow, suggesting a friendly interaction or companionship. So this could ultimately make it much easier for you to find what you want in your photos app, whether it's a photo or a video, and it can also be used for generative AI as well. For AI feature number four, we have rumors of Apple using AI in order to enable automatic playlist generation by using using machine learning to learn what you like and instantly creating a playlist for you instead of you having to build it by yourself manually like we kind of have to do right now. Now for AI feature number five, we have generative AI image editing. Earlier this month, Apple released MGIE, which uses multi-model LLMs to interpret simple commands into precise pixel level image manipulations and edits. Just look at all of these different examples, like this one where we have a pizza and the prompt says, make it more healthy, so the AI tool added vegetable toppings. And here, it was asked to add contrast to simulate more light, and bam, it automatically edited it. But getting even crazier, it was able to completely remove the woman in the background of this image, and in this one, it swapped what was on the display with a green web page, all automatically. So just imagine using Siri to automatically edit a photo without having to do it manually and without needing Photoshop. This would be huge and unlike anything that we have right now. Moving on to AI feature number six, Apple is apparently working on a new health app for the iPad that will come with a new AI powered wellness coaching service codenamed Quartz, which has a goal of keeping users motivated to exercise, improve eating habits, and help them sleep better. It'll apparently use a combination of artificial intelligence and Apple Watch data to give users suggestions on lifestyle changes that'll help improve their overall health and wellness. It could even use algorithms to determine a user's mood via their speech. For AI feature number seven, this one's pretty simple, but actually awesome. There will apparently be new AI features for the Messages app that can auto-complete messages, answer questions, and even summarize incoming text messages for you using AI. Now for feature number eight, Apple announced a new innovative AI tool earlier this month called Keyframer, which is able to turn a still image or a text prompt into a GIF. For example, look at this image of Saturn and this rocket. It was able to animate both of these into GIFs or alternatively, it was able to create multiple versions of this design in different colors, fading between them. Apparently, the target market would be for graphics professionals who would use it to quickly test out ideas or compare them before working on them conventionally. But for someone like me, just imagine finding an image and asking Siri to animate it and turn it into a GIF to share with others instead of having to create it manually, which I honestly don't really know how to do. Now, AI feature number nine is one that's more meant for the Mac. First of all, Apple created the MLX framework back in December, which is basically an efficient machine learning framework specifically designed for Apple Silicon on your Mac. But going even further, Apple is developing an AI tool that will help developers write code for apps, apparently being able to predict and auto-complete lines of code, or even generating code from comments, which will greatly speed up the development process and reduce bugs. And finally, we have AI feature number 10, which is something that is so huge, it seems a bit too hard to believe, at least for now. Back in December, Apple released Hugs, 
human Gaussian splats. This AI tech can apparently separate and animate humans within scenes, achieving state-of-the-art rendering quality and speed, being able to render at 60 FPS while being over 100 times faster to train than previous work. Just check out this video. They were able to use this simple training video to separate the person from the background scene erasing them completely and then having enough data to animate the person within that video. On top of that, they were able to bring multiple people into a new background and animate them all at the same time, which is just mind blowing. Now, I'm not sure how or when this feature is coming, but I can say that based on everything that I showed you in this video, iOS 18 will no doubt be the best software update in the iPhone's history. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, go ahead and click the button above to subscribe for more videos like this one. Definitely check one of those out over there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.